Wow, we are finally at the most auspicious day of the year, the eighth day of Hanukkah, the eighth light of Hanukkah, which is also known as Zot Haberacha. And the eighth light is in the sign Besiman of Adon Haniflaot, the Lord of Wonders, the Lord of Miracles, the one who can do something from nothing. The Rebbe Mibels is saying that every Jew on this special day has the power that the Gadol Hado, the chief rabbi of the Jewish people, has only on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So tonight, and the entire day tomorrow, you have the power that the chief rabbi of the Jewish people has on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur the entire day. Do you understand the power that you have? Please, don't forget, take advantage of that. And what is this day capable of doing? What is so auspicious about this day? Rabbi Tzadok HaKohen Milublin says that every time a word is said the first time in the Torah, it has a very strong power. So it says, Zot HaChanukah, when was the first time in the Torah that we said the word Zot? It was in the verse, Vezot Etzem Me'atzamai, Basar Mi Besari, Lazot Ikare Isha. This, this, is a bone from my bones, flesh from my flesh, and to this we will call a woman. Woman! Everybody has special powers today, but woman, you are have much, much greater power because today is your day, is the day of the woman, the day of tefillah, Use it wisely. Stand in front of the eight candles of Hanukkah and pray to Hashem because this day is capable to bring Shiduchim, to have Zera Shel Kayama, to have children. This day is capable to become extremely healthy and rich. Let's see how. The Vida Melech says, Vizot Yadati. Ki bi. Me'et Hashem ha'ita zot. Again, zot and zot. Whenever we see in the Torah the word zot, we know that is a day, is a time, a species time that is capable of creating wonders, of creating miracles. So let's take this opportunity to create the miracles today, to look at the eight, eight candles of Hanukkah, draw the power from them, observe the light, so we can get the abundance that come from them tonight. You, I, and all of us can create wonders today. The Zohar says, Hakol talui b'shiva, everything depend, is dependent on seven. Seven days of creation, seven days of the week, the Shabbat, Seven heaven, everything is seven, 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 seven. Seven represents teva, science, what we know, what is expected, what is, what is, whatever is accepted. But eight, eight is the number that goes above the teva, above logic, against all ads, the wonders, the miracles. That's the number eight, the number that can create the miracles we want in our life. The number eight is the number that takes from the koach el apoal, from potential into action. Actually taking the teva, what is expected, and make it above, against all odds, make it a wonder. We see with Chana, she was barren for 19 years, and it says that she was bitter, she suffered. She cried, she prayed. What didn't she do? She fasted, she didn't want to eat. She, she, she did it both to do. She did everything she can do, but nothing helped. Until she decided to take from the Koach El 
It says, עד אשר לא היו פניה עוד. She decided that's it. Enough being miserable. Enough being bitter. Enough feeling pity for myself. Enough. I am going to do an action. She takes that face of misery, of bitterness, and she throws it to the garbage. And what does she do instead? She goes outside, she goes into the store, she buys material, and she starts sewing. A coat, a coat for her baby boy that she is going to manifest from now on, which is what we are going to learn from her because the next day, the next year, at the same time, she had a baby boy called Shmuel and there was an even bigger miracle. The bigger miracle was that he wore the coat that she sewed for him and he And that coat grew with him every year. He actually was buried with that coat from the day he was born until the day he was Niftar. He was wearing the coat that his mom sewed for him. So today we're going to take this opportunity to learn from Chana how to manifest wonders into our lives. We are going to look at the eight candles burning bright And we are going to imagine, imagine the wonders, the nisim, the miracles we want in our life. Chana is teaching us how to do guided meditation. Yeah, yeah, everybody is telling us positive thinking, positive thinking, know how to do positive thinking. Positive thinking is not working, Chana is saying. No, no, it's not enough. You have to actually feel it. Uh, the manifestation you want in your life. So if you want to be a bride, manifest it. Dream about it. See yourself in a white, shiny dress. Imagine it. You want to be pregnant? Imagine what it feels like being pregnant. You want to nurse? You want to rock your baby? You want to dance and teach your children? You want to have this amazing relationship with your husband? You want to buy this new home? You want this... new uh, you want this new job you want all this abundance in your life imagine it but imagination is not enough you have to imagine it so vividly that if that manifestation whatever you you manifest is actually funny it has to cause you to laugh if that manifestation is so gratitude provoking then you can start tearing up Imagine it to the point where you start tearing from gratitude, from happiness, for jo from joy that this has already had happened in your life. As if it's already happened in your life, you have to be so happy. That's how you manifest wonders. It says, call Hashem Bakoach, meaning Hashem is capable of doing anything that has Koach. that has not just potential, that is able to bring from the, from the koach el apoal, that you can sew that wonderful coat of salvation for yourself, for your own miracle. So let's do it tonight. This is the night, the great night, where you can bring these wonders to your life. This night is also capable of zera shel kayama, Bring your children into the world. If you have fertility issues, if you would like to have children, if you are delaying for no reason and you don't know why, tonight is the night. Tonight is the night to ask for Zera Shikayama for babies. Hashem says, Vezot Beriti Itchem Shalom. He says, tonight is the night. If you keep the covenant between me and you, you will have a child. Tonight is the night that we are capable of making big wonders. And of course, this night is capable of wealth, abundance, money, a lot of finances. How is it, how is it possible? And we have Rabbi Yitzchak Mikoritz is telling us a wonderful thing. We praise Hashem and Hashem has the ability to... to have the Hagedula, Hagevura, Tiferet, Netzach, Hod, Melucha, Kavod, Vaosher. We're capable on the eighth day to bring Osher, to bring wealth, 
upon us. The reason why we have the menorah on our right side of the door, but we light it from the left side to the right side, is to tell Hashem, Orech chaim bimina ubismola osher vekavod. On the right side, Hashem, we want us from the right side that you should give us long, healthy quality of life. At the same time, give us wealth, kavod, and honor. So this night is capable of so many things, amazing things that we can bring upon ourselves and create the miracle. Take something from the potential into action, manifest it, and bring upon yourself the wonders you desire. Obviously, tonight is a night, and tomorrow morning, the whole day, until Shkia, is the night of prayer. Anything you pray, everything you say, is going to make a big noise up in Shemaim, up in heaven. We, as many Tehillim as you can say, say that's the day, that's the night. Especially Paslam 6. Menatseach bin Ginot al Shminit. The Menatseach, the conductor, on the, on the eighth day. Start by saying thank you to Akadosh Baruch Hu. Create those miracles. And of course, remember, Shareidim Alon in Alu. This is the day to cry. Cry, cry so hard that your vision cannot see eight candles. Instead, it sees one big candle, one big miracle, wonder in your life. Also, there is a big segula today to take a note and write on it. Min ha-metzar karatiya anani b'merchavia And then you say, Hashem, not, for, not because of my deeds, not because of my merits, just because I am your daughter, I am your son, please give me so and so. Put it under your Hanukkiah. And by next year, this is going to be your wonder. Can't wait to hear from all of you about your wonders until next year. Happy Hanukkah!